simplification. Eva's mother has an allotment. This allotment is divided into eight equal plots by fences. She wants to plant cauliflowers in half of them, so four of the eight equal plots. She realized it would be much easier to make the furrows if she removes some of the fences. After removing the fences, how many plots does she want to plant in? There are four. One, two, three, four. And she wants to plant in two plots. So two of four equal plots. Very good. She wants to plant in two of the four equal plots, which corresponds to two-fourths of the allotment. She realized that she can remove another fence in order to make all the furrows in one go. Now she is going to plant in one of two equal plots. What fraction will this correspond to? So one of two equal plots equals one half. Very good. It's half of the allotment. If you look carefully, you can see that all the fractions represent the same amount of the allotment, even though there is a smaller number of plots. Let's look at another example. We're going to represent the fraction 4 twelfths on a bar. Now we're going to group the pieces of fraction together two by two. What fraction do we get? There are two parts colored out of six. So two out of six. Very good. We've arranged the parts in groups of two. So now instead of 12 equal parts, we have six. 12 divided by two. And instead of four colored parts, we have two. 4 divided by 2. Another way to find equivalent fractions is to divide the numerator and denominator by the same number. Fractions that represent the same quantity with fewer parts are called simplified fractions. We've simplified the fraction 4 twelfths, and now we've got 2 sixths. Can we simplify this fraction any further? I think so. Definitely. We can find another number to divide the numerator and denominator by. In order to keep simplifying fractions, we must divide its terms by the same number. Drag the numbers to divide the numerator and denominator and find a simplified fraction. Okay, so 6 can be divided by 2 and 3, not 4. And 2 can only di be divided by 2. So since both the numerator and the denominator have to be the same number, then I guess it has to be 2. Very good. Now simplify the fraction. Okay, so 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. Exactly. By dividing the numerator and denominator by two, we have grouped each part together into twos. We've simplified the fraction four twelfths to two sixths, and then to one third. Can the fraction be simplified further? No, I don't think so. Very good. There are no numbers we can use to divide the numerator and the denominator. The fractions that can't be simplified, the ones that can't be expressed using a smaller number of pieces, are called irreducible fractions. Just one more question before we finish. Of all the simplified fractions, which are irreducible? So which fractions can't be simplified? Okay, so let's start with the first one. This one, six out of eight. Yep, this can be simplified. Um, 
divide by two, so let's not click that one. One half. Uh, no, this one can't be simplified any further. Six out of 12, yep, that definitely can still be simplified. Five out of six. Uh, nope, that can't be simplified any further. Six out of six. No, yep, that can still be simplified. And then lastly, two thirds. Uh, nope, I think that's an ir irreducible fraction, so let's click that one. Perfect. These fractions are irreducible. Now you know how to simplify a fraction to an irreducible fraction. Keep practicing.